All right, hey everyone. In this video, I'm gonna show you a simple tutorial on how you can create depth of field in game on your PC games, just using your graphics card. So here is, or here is Narrows in Halo 3. You see there's no depth of field here, but if I just turn this on, boom, look how nice it looks. And that's what we're gonna, well, I'm gonna walk you through how to set this up today. And as you see, as I move around, there's actual depth of field. I wasn't trying to go there, but you can see depth of field, and if I turn it off again, this is what the normal game looks like. So I'm gonna walk you through how you do that. But first you need, like this is only on PC, you can't do this on consoles because this is using an Nvidia graphics card. So you also need an Nvidia graphics card. So let's go back to the desktop. So first, with your Nvidia graphics card, you have to download the GeForce experience. Now I'll leave a link down in the description how you can get that. But you have to make sure obviously your graphics card applies to this. Uh, it looks like I need to upgrade my uh, current driver right now, but that's fine. So once you have GeForce Experience here, you can see some of your games. You're gonna hit the gear here to go into settings and go down to in-game overlay. And I'm just gonna make sure that is turned on. You can see your drivers and then you could also click in-game overlay and see what the requirements are. But once you have that turned on, you're basically good to go. So I'm pretty sure not all games work for this, but you can check in game. I'm gonna try with Call of Duty. I'll try it later in this tutorial for Call of Duty Black Ops, but you can see it worked in the MCC, Master Chief Collection. And I'm hoping it works in maybe Valorant. Probably not because it's a spectator mode, not a theater mode. I believe it has to be in theater, but it's pretty insane. So I also use the GeForce Experience, I'm not sure if you can see this here, as all of my game recording. So while I'm playing Valorant or anything like that, I can press a button and it'll instantly record the last minute or so, what are my settings here? I have to turn it off to look at settings. The last minute and 45 seconds, and you can change your settings. And I use that more than anything else for recording. Right now I'm using OBS just so you can see this, but that's a, a separate thing on the side. I can go in tutorials for that later. But mainly what we care about is the in-game overlay for adding the step to field. So back in Halo here, which will take a second for my screen to load, if I press Alt F3, it brings up these game filters on the side. And as an example, we'll use three because I already have stuff set up here. And you can add your game filters, black and white. You can remove black and white. And you can play around with all these ones here. There's a few different ones. Tilt shift, uh, not one I would recommend. But the main one, if we go to here, you see I have depth of field and sharpen. And that's what I'm using those two together to get this. Now I can use a controller because it's better to get angles with a controller, but let's just fly around the map and see how beautiful this looks. And this is an old game a play, so there's stuff moving. And it just looks amazing with this. Now, some of the main issues here is I can't, let me open this up again. I can't create rack focuses within my depth of field. So I can't focus on the foreground and then have the focus shift to focusing on the background or vice versa. So I'm stuck with right now what it looks like where I'm focusing on the foreground and the background's out of focus. I mean, it looks amazing. And if you're just doing a regular shot, I think you should always have this on. But if you're planning to do a rack focus, you're gonna have to do all the masking and rotoscoping yourself. But you can see here, if I bring down depth of field, I have all these tools and options as well. So I can actually pick the range I want it to be, more things in focus, just the foreground, change the type of blur curve. I'm not sure exactly what that means, but you're seeing it's changing the strength and how it looks. I like the default, which I wish I remembered what it was, but what you, what I really like about this, I'm not sure if you can see my mouse, yeah you can, is the bokeh it creates, basically the further away you get, the stronger the out of focus is, which you don't get when you're creating it yourself in After Effects. So you can really see like, Look how big these rings are, things that are glowing. This is the bokeh effect from when things are out of field or you have a shallow depth of field. And it just looks beautiful. One thing I forgot to add is that I didn't learn this on my own. Xander or Alex showed me this technique. I watched a few of his Halo montages and I had to ask what blur effect he was putting on the background because I thought he was masking everything the way I've been doing it. And it turns out he was using this technique. So he taught me it. He had a friend that showed him it. I'm not sure exactly what his name was, but I'll link down in the description to Alex's channel. And then if he gives me the info, I'll link to that guy. Amazing technique. And really this should be the biggest leap forward in Halo or at least MCC montages there has ever been. Theater mode still, you know, not the greatest, but adding the step to field just ups the quality of all the productions that should be coming out. And everyone should be using this. It looks amazing. If your montage is on 
uh, console, you should be using PC to get your angles and recreate angles just to use this. That's how good it is. That's how amazing it looks. Look at this water right here. I'll make this full screen. So actually, I guess I can't make full screen, so I'm going to show you here. What I had before was just this shot where there's no depth of field and this is just straight in the game. And I'm, I'm like, oh man, like this looks pretty good. I like this shot. And then as soon as I learned this technique, I was like, okay, well, let me add depth of field and look how much better that looks. I'll just play it here. It looks amazing. Some of these angles I got are just incredible. That one doesn't have depth of field, but some of them are nuts. And I'm blown away by this technique. Thank you, Alex, Alexander. Everyone check out his montages, check out his work, and let's let's see what everyone can make. Thanks, guys. I do not know as much about human relationships as I thought.